hello techies in this tutorial we will learn how to work with go to web page action which is available under browser automation let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now if you see the purpose of this go to web page action it will navigate the web browser to a new page what it means within the website it will be navigating from one page to another page or it will navigate from one site to another website within the browser let me show you a small scenario over here let me switch to the browser and there you can see i'm going to navigate to nsaindia.com once the page has been loaded successfully i'm going to the market data and then i'm going to take it equity and smu market let's click on that now if you see over here it is trying to navigate msceindia.com slash market data slash live equity market right now what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate to some other page that is google.com this is another website all right now it is trying to navigate to some other website now if you closely observe there are the arrows over here that is go back or move forward right now if i want to see the what we have viewed at the history so then what i can do i can simply click over here to go back to the previous history and now it is going back to the market data slash live equity dot live equity market now if you see again there is a forward arrow which click to go forward to which it will hold the history over here again if i go back once again there i can see i'm going for the nsaindia.com right there if you see within the website that it is trying to navigate what you have seen near the old history and what you have seen as the forward history which it will holds the entire history over here there you can see i'm having specified url that is over here i'm having specified url that have been given as google.com now i can go back i can move forward and i even i can reload the page all right the same kind of actions we are going to do in this session by using go to web page action let me go back to the powermate desktop now if you see the description over here go to web page action navigates the web browser to a new page now if you see the parameters the first parameter is the web browser instance now this instance if you have if you don't have any instance then we are going to create an instance by using launch new chrome which is a starting page over here that is nseindia.com all right now as a first action i'm going to navigate to the url what is the navigating url that i'm going to give it as market data right i'm going to copy this url from the browser and then i'm going to give it the url as https colon nseindia.com slash market data slash live equity market now if you see the advanced parameters over here i'm having a wait for page load yes i am going to enable it until the page loads it will wait the time out of the web page load i have given it as 60 seconds if there is any pop ups happens then i am going to select the action do nothing and then i am going to click on save now if you see over here as a first action by using launch new chrome it will now it will create an instance of the new chrome and then it will navigate to nseindia.com and as a second step when the page has been loaded successfully in the launch new chrome it will navigate to the another page that is nseindia.com/marketdata/liveequitymarket by using go to web page action all right let me close the browser let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started at the first step it will launch a new chrome window where it will navigate to nseindia.com once the page has loaded successfully it will navigate to another url by using go to web page action now there you can see in the navigate url it has been changed to nseindia.com/marketdata/liveequitymarket it's just navigated from one page to another page by using go to web page action all right let me click on close now the flow has executed successfully now we will see the another parameters which we have in the go to web page action let's double click on that now if you see in the parameters i'm having navigate let's expand that 
along with two URL I'm having back forward reload web page right now we'll work with these options one by one let me click on cancel now I'm going to drag and drop go to web page action you know, onto the workspace now in the parameters navigate I'm going to give it as back so what will happen at the first step it will launch a new window with nsindia.com then it will go to the another page that is nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market all right now as a third action it will navigate back in a such a way it will go back to nsindia.com all right now let me see the advance we have seen all these advance in a such a way wait for page load timeout on web page load and if a pop-up appears there is no output for this go to web page action so there is no output it won't store in any variable all right let me click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started to make you understand i'm going to minimize the browser keeping right side of the window once the page has loaded if you see over here as a second step it will navigate to nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market in the url there you can see the link has been changed or the url has been changed it is trying to navigate to the another page once it has been done at the third step it is trying to navigate back in a such a way it is going back to the nseindia.com as given in the step three that is go to the web page which is now getting back all right the flow has executed successfully now let me close the browser now in the same way if i want to navigate forward in such cases what i will do let's double click on the go to web page action and there you can see i'm having navigate navigate option over here in a such way will go forward in the same way if i want to reload the entire web page in that case i'm going to use the option called reload web page all right i hope you understand how to navigate the web browser in a such a way by using the url as well as navigating back navigating forward or reloading the entire page once again by using go to web page action as part of this tutorial